what we're going to do in this video is go through selling a part. We're just going to go in, create an invoice, sell a part, and cash it out just so you can kind of see the whole picture as to what you're going to, to be learning how to do. So when we get started here, what we're going to do is we're in the invoicing section, and we're going to come right here to New Invoice. We're going to tell it to locate a customer. I'm going to type in SMTI to pick the, the customer, just the first few letters of each of their name or each of the name. And I'm going to select the customer by clicking the magnifying glass. I'm going to do a part sale for this particular sale. We're going to add an item. We're going to pick an item here for that we want to actually sell. I'm going to just pick the bin that we're going to sell it out of. So we'll just say we're going to sell it out of this bin. You'll notice all of the cross-reference and also sell information and stuff that displays here in the dashboard beside our add item screen. Um, we also have availability that we can look at and, and other things as well. So this control is extremely powerful in helping you make sure that this is the part you're trying to sell and checking availability at the different uh, distributors or, or vendors. So at this point, we're just going to tell it to add and close because this is the only part that we want to do. We can hit either up there or down here. If there's multiple items, then we would only hit add and then go ahead and start typing in the next part. But we're going to go ahead and add and close. We're going to click the green button to let Lizzie know that we have this part in our hand or the customer has it in their hand. So it's okay for her to go ahead and allocate the inventory at this point. And now having taxes and everything all figured up for us, all we're going to do is hit pay invoice. Lizzie's already selected the invoice that we need to pay. So we're going to come down here, select our cash drawer, and tell it we're going to pay cash. Now, the cash drawer, it actually remembers what cash drawer you last picked. So you're not constantly having to pick that. But since this is the first time I've cashed one out today, uh, it was asking me what drawer I happen to be standing in front of. So we're going to go ahead and tell it to process the payment. And now we can print or email a receipt if we have the email address and everything's done.